everybody! Okay, so I'm coming to you live from my car. This is the place where I like to record my audio. Uh, it's way too loud in my house. There's all these sounds, people coming in and out of the house. You might hear my neighbor working on their car, so I do, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. So today I thought I would talk about the Jane Davenport mermaid markers while I drink some coffee. Sorry for the slurping sounds. But it's so good. <laughs> I need the coffee. Okay, so I purchased uh, the mermaid markers at Michael's. I think they were between $36 to $40. And I used my coupon. Always use your coupon. <laughs> and they came in a set of 12 colors. I also purchased some aqua brushes later on to, to use because they're very vibrant colors. You... You only need a couple drops and it can lay down so much color and if you want to get the different ranges and lighter tones then you need to add some water to it so that's what this brush you see right now is just a uh, aqua brush filled with water and I'm spreading the color around very easy application um, this is what I liked about having the color in the brushes you can just play around and it really inspired you to just lay down some colors and mix them around. It's really fun. It's simple and fun. And uh, I'm going to tell you the names of these because you can't see all of the, the writing. So this is Deep Sea, Byron Bay, Siren, Seaweed, Blue Bottle, Pirate's Gold, Lobster, Coral, Starfish, beach, and reef. Okay, so let's jump into what I like about these markers. I like that they are in a refillable aqua brush. They didn't have any inks that you could purchase at Michael's to do that with, but you can go online and purchase the inks there. So another option would be to just put water into the brush and then you can dip it into other watercolor medium and just use it as a paintbrush. So that's a, another good alternative you can do as well. Um, another thing is that they are vibrant. I know I said this before, but I have to say it again because before this, I was really um, used to lower end crappy watercolor mediums. Um, so a lot of my experience was that they were not colorful. They were hard to lay down lots of color because uh, they wouldn't spread well or they were streaky, and when they did dry, it was a very chalky texture. So this, experiencing these markers, it was just uh, like another world to me almost, and it opened up my mind to all these possibilities. And I started to improve with my artwork because I was enjoying um, how colorful they were and just the look of the things that I was making. It just... It was a really good experience. Um, another characteristic that I like is one that I also dislike and it really depends on what you're attempting to do and I'm just showing you that right now. So I laid down the ink and I let it dry for over 24 hours and here I am uh, putting a drop of water and letting it sit for a couple minutes and what I was able to do is lift the color off and you can see that some of the colors were were coming like straight off the page where it left the white dot so these are highly reactive and um, easy to lift the colors so that could be good for if you were making any mistakes you can lift the color right off and just carry on like you never dropped those drops on the page but if you want to if you want to work in layers, um, you have to be very careful. You can achieve it, but it is really difficult uh, compared to some of the other watercolor mediums I've I've used. Just because if you use too much, if it's too wet, it's just going to reactivate the inks and they're going to blend together, and you're not going to be able to produce those those layers that you're looking for. So another thing is that they are not non-toxic, so they do have some uh, materials in there, uh, which isn't uncommon for art supplies. There are 
a lot of art supplies out there that use pigments where they have to they have to put in there that they are a uh, hazard hazardous material so it's not really a big deal but for someone that's maybe buying for kids and they're worried about them um, putting it in their mouths or something like that that's something to be aware of Another thing is uh, their light fastness rating, which they didn't have, I, I couldn't find any information about that. And what that does is tell you is how long it takes for these colors to fade when they're exposed to light. And it might not be important to you, especially if you're just working in your personal journal and uh, you're not really creating pieces to sell but for those that want to create things that they're going to sell they you'd want to use some materials that uh, won't fade as fast in the light so that's that's kind of all I have to say about um, the characteristics and what I found with these markers um, would I recommend these absolutely if you are looking for a product to do lettering colorful lettering with if you want to do some pen and ink drawings and add splashes of color and those colors are so bold even when you go to water them down to the lighter tones they stay vibrant also I really like that they are in an aqua brush because it just makes working with the inks more manageable and all around like it's a very motivating experience and it helps you to just try something new those lifting techniques that was a new experience for me and there's so much that you can do with those lifting techniques um, layering it is achievable but it is definitely harder to do and I think that's what's stopping me from repurchasing some more inks at this time is because I'm looking for products where I can work in a lot of layers and it's really hard to achieve in this um, with these inks. Also, the light fastness. Uh, there's no there's no ratings, and so if those two qualities are important to you, then I would suggest purchasing another product. So now that the hard part is over, let's move on to just what I've been creating. So here, um, this is kind of funny. I started this video. I started filming this video back in April and I didn't know anything about uh, Mermaid and I think it wasn't until I don't know a couple weeks ago like the beginning of May that I was seeing a lot of artwork uh, for Mermaid and I don't even really know the whole entire challenge. Uh, are you supposed to do a drawing a day of mermaid art or or what I really don't know um, all I know is that in May you're supposed to do some mermaid art so here I am in April filming this video that I'm going to release in May on a review for the mermaid markers while painting a mermaid and I didn't even know that this challenge existed so it just timed out perfectly and I think that's kind of funny I really need to do my research and see if there's any more art challenges out there. I know there's Inktober. Um, is that still a thing? I hope so, because I, I saw it a couple years ago and I thought that was awesome and amazing. And uh, if you know of any challenges, let me know, because I, I I'd really like to participate in it. So something I want... Ah! <laughs> My cat just jumped on the window and is resting on the... Ah! Oh my god. My cat's on top of the roof of the car and I saw, I, I saw him peeking in the passenger window. I have them rolled down and he stuck his head in there so he's kind of freaking me out. I had to pause for a moment because I'm just, <laughs> uh, I'm easily disturbed, I guess, when I'm, <laughs> I'm in the car. It's nighttime now. I'm getting tired. But uh, let's, let's carry on. So uh, her skin tone, 
<laughs> turned out to be a little bit more yellow and that's because of my lighting. I do try and film during the day but even during the daytime the way that my desk is uh, laid out the light that's coming in uh, ends up casting a shadow onto the page and so I have to use uh, a lamp to try and balance it out and right now I don't have a daylight bulb I just have uh, a, a bulb that produces yellow lighting so it doesn't really it doesn't really matter I'm getting I'm having I'm struggling with lighting obviously so hopefully when I get the daylight bulb that solves my problem if that doesn't work then I I'm considering purchasing some uh, desktop filming lights. I've seen a couple on Amazon that I like, but I really hope that just replacing the bulb will fix my issue because I would like to put that money towards uh, another project that I've been trying to do for years and years and years. It has to do with resin. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I... I am involved in a whole bunch of different art mediums, not just uh, painting and resin. There's there's so much there. But this project has to do with resin, and I don't want to give away what I'm going to be making. And I really do want... I've been wanting to share this for so long. Some of my first um, earlier videos that I've shared on Instagram has to do with resin. So there's a clue if you want to try and solve a mystery, go, go to my Instagram at Bewildered Things and uh, look at my resin projects. Maybe you can guess what I'm trying to accomplish or purchase. So, um, oh, right now, this is where everything got kind of weird with the hair. I really do need to practice on how to do line art for the hair. Uh, so I did lines it looked really weird, so here I am trying to lay down some darker color to cover it up, and I'll be lifting off the color, and the end result actually looks kind of neat. It has this glowing effect uh, that you'll see at the end, um, but again, it, this is me just trying to make something look, look a little bit better. It's not what I originally wanted to achieve. So my favorite part to this painting is the water. As soon as I put those white lines down, uh, that's when the painting came alive and there was a little bit of a movement to it. So I guess that's it for the mermaid markers, guys. That's, uh, I hope that you had fun and you were able to take away uh, some information about this product. and. I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye!